Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank God that he has given himself to be our father and we are his children. And now he's dwelling inside of us and we can all call him our father. This morning I'd like to encourage you from Matthew chapter 25 and in verses 14 and verses 15. It says this, For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his own ability, and immediately he went on a journey. You see, here we are being told a servant who gave talents according to his servant's ability. And therefore Jesus was talking about this parable, and that parable is in reference to us that God has given each and every one a talent, and that talent has been given according to our ability. You see, in life it is not how much you have, in life it is what do you do with what you have. Because what you have is what is according to your ability. And if you ha handle and manage well what you have, guess what? You are going to be faithful and you're going to see an increase come up to that. And therefore, if you don't utilize what you have because you think more is better, then you will be dishonoring and disrespecting God who has equipped you with the ability that you have to do what you've been called to do. You know, so many of us today are not using our abilities. There are those who've been called to teach. There are those who've been called to sing. Those who've been called to drive. Those who've been called to be doctors. Those who've been called to, to be teachers, to be lawyers. And there's so many things, many people who've been called. And they're not even doing that. Why? Because they're comparing themselves to somebody else. <laughs> but you see, the Bible is saying it's not how much you have. It is what do you do with what you have. If you are a teacher, just teach. If you are a pilot, just fly. Don't try to say, I wish I was a teacher because I could do more. No. It doesn't, you will not be successful by wishing of who you could be. You will be successful in life by handling and managing what you have. And therefore, this morning I'd like to encourage you. Now, don't envy your family. Love your family. Those are the ones that God has given to you. He has blessed you with them. Love them. Manage them well. Take care of one another. You know, if you have a, a loving church where you go, God has placed you over there. Stay together with the people. Love them. Honor one another. Encourage one another. Serve one another. Do whatever God has given you the ability to work with amongst the people. If you're in the community, serve one another. And when you do so, you're honoring God with the ability he has given to you. And when you do so, then you're going to be a faithful servant. In other words, God says, I can count on you because that which I release inside of you, you are using it to be a blessing to somebody else. Which means God's ability does not expire. Therefore, there is no retirement with God's ability. Don't let somebody convince you that you can retire from God. You never retire from God because God's ability has got no expiration date. Therefore, whatever age you are, remember God is still counting you faithful, but can you be trusted with what he has given to you? Or did you give up on it and say, oh, well, that's it? No, I'd like to encourage you today. Stay faithful because God has given to you what he has given to you according to your ability. If you're not using it, probably you're doing the wrong thing. And if you do the wrong thing, guess what? You're not honoring God by what, by what he gave you. So today I'd like to encourage you. Honor God with what he has given to you. Do what he has called you to do. And get out of the place he did not call you to be at. And don't do the things he did not call you to do. And as you do so, you'll see the blessings of the Lord overtaking you. Why? Because it is the blessings of the Lord that make you rich and add no sorrow with it. In other words, he empowered you to prosper in the areas that he gave you the ability in. And when you do so, then you'll re realize you are prospering and there is no sorrow with it. Therefore, today I'd like to encourage you and let you know, if this is a word, praise the Lord. If it is not a word, you make it your word today. You simply say, I've been abilified. In other words, I've been given an ability to continue to multiply my ability. Therefore, I am abilified in whatever God has called me to do. So you stay blessed and remain abilified as God works in your life. Have a wonderful day.